Welcome to Ask Less. Uh, we have a question that comes up sometimes uh, regarding the, the use of our ring blade air wipe systems, which are used to dry extruded products, is how well do they clean or dry a part that is not always smooth or has some hidden corners or has some tricky edges that, uh, that, are, that have some dirt or have some uh, liquid that's stuck in there. How do you dry or clean those types of things? Uh, now the way the air wipe works uh, is basically the air comes out amplifying the compressed air that comes out for blow off by entraining the surrounding air. It comes out at a 30 degree angle. So even with that 30 degree angle, you can get into some pretty good corners that way. Um, it gets into some pretty good edges to be able to knock out any dirt or liquids. So that 30 degree angle of blow off can make a big difference and does a pretty good cleaning even for some rough and not necessarily smooth parts. However, uh, let's say you have a, a rib hose, for example, uh, that's being extruded. Um, you may want to use the supplemental blow off like our air edger to sort of blow in at the backside to splash out that backside that may not be hit by that 30 degree air. And once it's splashed down to the other surface, then it can be more easily blown off. Similarly with EPDM rubber, if you have a hidden corner, sometimes an air nozzle splashing out any liquid that could be in there, any dirt that could be in that hidden corner, splashing out to another surface, uh, and then more easily blown off the air wipe may be the best route to go. So you can use a supplementary blow off before it hits the air wipe, which will end up doing the final cleaning or drying for you. Hopefully that will answer some questions uh, that people may have in their mind with regard to the use of our air wipe systems uh, in blowing off extruded products. If you have any questions concerning the use of compressed air, uh, use for blow off, for cooling, for drying, for moving, uh, ask less.